Hello and welcome to another video series by Multicopter Build. And uh, last time you saw me build um, the Terret Iron Man 650. And if you haven't seen that build, please go back because it is quite a good build. Um, it, it did um, quite a, a good uh, amount of flight time. So uh, this time we're gonna upgrade the frame for some and downgrade for the others, but it's a, it's an upgrade for me. Um, to the Alien 680mm frame. We're going to use the same components, same electronics um, as we did with the Iron Man 650 but uh, this time with the um, Alien 680mm foldable frame and this is a big plus for me because I can um, use it in a transport case. So um, you can see obviously that it's foldable, folded out here all of the frames and it is 680 millimeters um, and it has a good amount good um, uh, degree of every fold so that's that's good and it folds uh, into a nice compact package and so just to see it from the bottom here there's um, as you can see there's motor mount on both sides so you could configure it as an x8 if you want that or if you need a uh, big camera comp big camera equipment, if you're a video production company or anything like that. Um, and you can see that it says TF model because it's bought from a um, German vendor, a German uh, uh, shop called n-factory.de. I'll put the link in the description for other EU customers. And um, it's the um, alien frame from TF model, which is I know is good quality. And I can feel it as well, it's cut perfectly to shape and uh, no uh, major fault in the frame, no fault at all I believe. Um, so it's, it feels very good quality and it's carbon fiber so it's very rigid. Um, we can even get, get rid of some of the spacers in here because we don't need so many spacers um, for the frame to be rigid and we can save a bit of weight as well. So um, we're going to use this for autonomous flying. Um, like we did with the turret and we're going to use the Trinity Multistar uh, 490 kb motors all the links that will be in the description for what I've used um, so those motors will be used with these the same uh, 15 inch 15 by 5.5 I believe inch um, carbon fiber propellers really good quality and it had very long flight time um, also, we're going to use the um, Pixhawk, the 3D Robotics Pixhawk, for the uh, for the build, and it will be mounted in between the the plates here because there is a lot of space in between the plates. You can see between the red parts here and the two carbon fiber plates, there's a quite a bit of, of room. Um, so that will be used to mount uh, electronics. Also, um, we're going to use the uh, same Trinity Nanotech six. 1000 milliampere hour battery uh, for cell for the build and uh, which showed great flight time 26 minutes last time and you can see here as well is the um, the transmitter that we're going to use with it the uh, Trinity 9XR which is a great uh, platform both for beginners and advanced pilots because it's got so many um, uh, modifications uh, opportunities so um, customization opportunities with, and we're going to use the Trinity, oh sorry, the Free Sky DKT telemetry module together with the um, Free Sky DF4R-2, I believe it's called, um, 2.4 gigahertz, gigahertz uh, receiver that um, has CPPM, so we only need one wire from the Pixhawk to the receiver and that, that covers all the, the, um, the communication between the, the, uh, the trench mirror and the Pixhawk. So um, that's what I'm going to use and also this build will be pretty interesting because I will be waterproofing the entire quadcopter. So if you fly this um, quadcopter over any um, over any uh, water, it could be lakes, it could be ponds, it could be streams, whatever. Um, if you crash into it, it will probably survive um, for some period of time. When it crashes down, you could probably you can recover it 
and it will be all right. So that's what we're aiming for and I'll show you how to do that. So if you want to know how to waterproof your quadcopter, follow this build please because it's gonna be an exciting build and it's gonna be a good build because this frame, when, whenever it falls, it is also, it's also an opportunity to uh, be transported very easily, um, like in a briefcase or something. So that's that's very exciting and um, stay tuned because this build is going to be made very soon. I'm just um, waiting for the last part from Hobby King, the last wires, last mesh guard, wire mesh guard because we're going to make it very clean. And um, also the last um, carbon fiber because we're going to make our own landing gear for this. Um, with the parts that we can use from the Hobby King Rotobit series um, with the adapters and the carbon fiber from there. So that's gonna be an exciting build and please follow along and um, we'll see how it goes. So thank you for watching, please subscribe, please recommend to any of your friends that are interested in, interesting in uh, multi-copter building because this is the channel for them. So um, I hope you'll s I'll see you around and uh, have a good time and of course, Happy New Year's. So uh, bye guys and I'll see you later.